I am here to share the word of God with you. My name is Joseph Yaji. Today is the 20th day in the month of April, year 2024. Our readings of today present us with powerful lessons on faith, obedience, discipleship, and perseverance. In Acts chapter 9, verse 31 to 42, we witness the early church flourishing amidst persecution, demonstrating the power of faith and obedience in God's plan. Meanwhile, in John chapter 6, verse 60 to 69, Jesus challenges his disciples with difficult teachings, highlighting the importance of true discipleship and unwavering loyalty. These passages remind us of the transformative power of trusting in God, the challenge of following Jesus faithfully, and the necessity of perseverance in our journey of faith. In our first reading of today, from Acts chapter 9, verse 31 to 42, we see the early church growing and expanding. After a time of persecution, the believers are now experiencing peace throughout Judea, Galilee, and Samaria. We hear how they were encouraged by the Holy Spirit and lived in the fear of the Lord. It is a powerful image of a community that, despite challenges and dangers, is striving because of their faith and commitment to God. But it is not just about the numbers, it is about transformation. We read about Peter healing Aeneas, a man who had been bedridden for eight years. With just a simple command, Aeneas, Aeneas Jesus Christ heals you, get up and make your bed. Aeneas was healed. Then we hear about raising of Tabitha, also known as Dokas, from the dead. This miraculous event led many to believe in the Lord. These stories remind us that God's power is real and active. When we live in the fear of the Lord and listen to the Holy Spirit, extraordinary things happen. But there is a caution here too. It is easy to become complacent when everything seems peaceful and prosperous. The early church grew because it listened to the Spirit and stayed faithful to God's will. What about us? Are we listening to the Spirit or are we just going through the motions? Are we committed to the Lord or are we more interested in our own comfort and security? Beloved in Christ, before I dive into the message of the gospel, I want to share an important opportunity with you. Are you preparing for jam, post UTME, pre degree, or school of nursing exams? Look no further. Akahi Tutors is currently conducting tutorials to help you excel in these exams. Join us at number 67, Ududua College Road, Ileife, and let our experienced tutors guide you towards success. Don't let these crucial exams catch you unprepared. Call the number displayed on your screen to enroll now. Thank you and may God bless your academic endeavors. In Jesus' name, Amen. Beloved in Christ, in our gospel reading of today, from the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 60 to 69, we encounter a turning point in Jesus' ministry. Jesus has just finished explaining to his followers that he is the bread of life and that they must eat his flesh and drink his blood to have eternal life. This teaching is truly hard to understand 
and even harder to accept. Many of his disciples couldn't handle it and they choose to walk away. This moment is sobering, disheartening, and very sad indeed. This is because the disciples who turned back from Jesus were not casual followers. They had walked with Jesus, heard his teachings, and seen his miracles. Yet, when Jesus challenged them with a truth that didn't fit their expectation, they left. What about us? Are we willing to follow Jesus even when his teachings are hard to understand or uncomfortable to live out? Peter's response is powerful and should be our response too. When Jesus asks the twelve if they also want to leave, Peter says, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Despite the confusion, doubt, and difficulty, Peter recognized that there was no better option than to stay with Jesus. Today, I challenge you to think about where you stand as a husband, as a wife, as children, as a pastor, as a priest, and as a Catholic or non-Catholics. Are you with those who are willing to trust and follow Jesus even when it's tough? Or are you like those who walk away when the teachings get too difficult? The first reading shows us the power and growth that comes from a faithful community. The gospel reading warns us about the danger of walking away when the journey with Jesus gets tough. Let's examine our hearts. Are we fully committed to living in the fear of the Lord and following the guidance of the Holy Spirit? Or are we just alone, along for the ride until the going gets tough? Beloved in Christ, as we go out today, let us pray for the strength to remain with Jesus Christ, no matter what challenges we face, because he alone has the words of eternal life. Thank you for listening to me. My name is Joseph Iyaji. Please endeavor to share this post with others. As you do this, Almighty God, in infinite mercy and love, we bless you richly this day and beyond. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you and God bless you.